Hello, and welcome back to LearnSBOM.com. My name is Skylar, and I'm going to be showing you a tool called Cyclone DX Go. It's a really simple SBOM generator for Go projects. It only generates Cyclone DX version 1.1, so the tool is a bit outdated. It requires Go version 1.11 or higher, and only works on projects with a go.mod folder. Installation is pretty simple. Their documentation is slightly wrong, but it's easy to fix. They have Go get and then the GitHub link. We just need to change that to Go install and then the GitHub link at latest. So let's go install, and then the GitHub link, which I'm just gonna copy over. You can get that link in the video description or obviously go to their GitHub itself if you wanna grab it from there. Once we have that, it's gonna download a bunch of stuff. And then if we ls, we can cd into go bin, and we should see cyclindx-go. Now that we have that, we wanna check to see if it's in the path. I don't think it will be. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. So we can add that at least on Linux pretty easily. On Windows, you have to do something else, but for Ubuntu, we can do export path slash home. This is just wherever your Go bin folder is gonna be. And then colon dollar sign path. And then that should now add that to our path. So now that we can do that, we can go into the directory that we're trying to scan. It obviously has to have a go.mod folder. So I'm just going to use this sample project called Weaviate. In here, we can see that there is a go.mod folder. And since the cycleindx-go is in our path, we can just call that here. And if we just do the help command, we can see what this tool has to offer. Again, it is pretty outdated and obviously very simple. You can just specify an output string, but that is not necessary for the tool to run. So if we just run this, it will wait a couple of minutes and then print out an SBOM. So now that that's finished running, we can see we have an SBOM that has been generated with a bunch of components. It is in XML version, and I think that's because CycleIndX version 1.1 only supports XML. We can now choose an output for that. So if we just go bomb.xml, we can see that the SBOM is stored in here. So that is it for this super bare bones tool. If you wanted to generate an CycleIndX XML version 1.1 SBOM for a Go project with a go.mod file, and that's the only thing you'll ever want to do, I would recommend this tool. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. It was easy to install. It probably took two minutes to install it and run it, but it's not going to be updated. It hasn't been updated in, I think, four years, and it is lacking a bunch of options that would be nice to have. If you're looking for a better tool, I would recommend CycloneDX GoMod. We've done a video of that on the Learn SBOM channel, so you can check that out. I will link it in the top right of this video. That tool has a bunch more customization and can scan applications, modules, and binaries. That is it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye. Thank you for checking out this video. If you really liked it, be sure to check out our other videos right here, and then you can also subscribe right up top here. And again, thank you. Bye-bye.